Well, I hope you finished your writing of your book because now we move on to the very last part, the part which is different for many of you. Let's go and have a look. So, oh, these are book covers. Mm. What are they? Ah, oh, that looks like Harry Potter to me. Let's have a look. Oh, Harry Potter. That looks like Lord of the Rings. Oh, that's right. That look, oh, that's definitely, oh, that's, um, that's that man who does those drawings. What's his name? Roldan, what's this book? The Big Friendly Giant. Yay! Oh, I read this book. I didn't enjoy it. I can't remember what it's called, though. The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime. Oh, I saw this on television. This was called Twilight. This one? Noughts and Crosses. Oh, I'm right. I was a joke. Oops, a daisy. Anyway, so, covers of books are important because this is what they tell you about the book. And, and then you buy it. If you didn't buy it, you wouldn't read it, would you? Or you could go to the library. So, what are you going to do with your cover? Hmm. Let's have a look at your cover. So, we're going to find a cover that you. So, what does your book have on it? Let's have a look. We'll open a book up. So, here it is. This is your book cover. There's the front of your book, there's your spine, and there's the back. Oh, the front, the spine, that's the bit you see on the edge, and this is the back. Does anybody know what goes on these pieces? Let's go back and have a look. So, what goes on your book cover? Let's go back and have a look. So, the book cover. is special. What information are you going to put on your book cover? What your book is about? Who's going to read it? And why do people want to read it? So, front cover. You're going to make it look nice. That's called an illustration. Okay? You're going to make it look nice. And don't forget, if it doesn't look nice, people won't buy it. Mm. Don't worry about how big it is. We'll start with the one that I've got. What's it going to show? Is it going to be funny, serious, a photograph, a drawing? Don't forget to put your title of the book and the name of the author on the book. Top, middle, bottom, up. So you've got to have a look at the books in your room and have a look. All right? So, let's have a look again. Hmm, what are these books going to look like? So I'm going to have a look at an idea. This is what you're going to fill in. The front cover here, put your name, your author here, put the title here, put a good picture, write here what the story is about. And let's see what we find out. I look forward to seeing them. But finish your story first, please.